does TRT affect someone with ADHD or how can it benefit that person? Um, we had a question directly in the group uh, from someone. He said, I can't find any information it, on it anywhere. So ADHD is a topic that was very hot back in the 80s and 90s. Everybody was prescribed Ritalins and, you know, amphetamine, Adderall, etc. And uh, this started back in the adolescent phase and, and you know, teenagers that were kind of misbehaving in school or fidgety in school or failing grades. The teachers would say, you need to go see a mental health counselor. And then the parent would go in and they would say, oh, your, your child has ADHD. We need to put on a real name. So the, I feel that for, for starters, this was grossly overdiagnosed back in those days. And then it became kind of mainstream. And then people started to enjoy the rush of the amphetamine, you know, that sudden dopamine release. And uh, essentially it's like, it's a low dose cocaine, right? I mean, cocaine is a dopamine mimicker. Amphetamines are a dopamine agonist. They essentially force your brain to release large dumps of, of, of dopamine and it makes you feel good. You get in the, into the, like the state of euphoria. So guys like it. And this is one reason why it's today in the United States, a class two scheduled drug, which is very highly controlled. And many providers are very reluctant to prescribe amphetamines as a result. And one of the reasons that drugs get classified into these scheduled uh, categories, and the lower the number, the more strict, if you will, the DA controls the drug. One of the key factors is how addicting is a drug. So if we stop and think, it's kind of strange that testosterone is a class three out of five, five categories, class three controlled substance, right? It's lit, it's, Testosterone is literally just a notch below cocaine on the addiction scale, according to the government, right? I don't know anyone who's addicted to testosterone. I mean, you could say anything is addicting psychologically if it makes you feel good, but there's no physical addiction. You don't have like, it's not like alcohol addiction or heroin addiction, right? So at the end of the day, it's kind of strange to think about it, but Getting back to the topic, ADHD is something that you need to diagnose completely separate from testosterone. Oftentimes, guys will misconstrue brain fog or mental fatigue or inability to focus or a lack of motivation. And they'll say, well, I have ADD or I have ADHD. Um, it's not necessarily the case. Sometimes your, your brain cognition and your motivation and your outlook and your mood tends to diminish. And that kind of translates into a similar kind of overlap into this whole psychological disorder, which is what ADHD is. So I, I think speaking to a mental health counselor or a psychiatrist uh, is probably the better approach when it comes to, to diagnosing and treating that. I wouldn't necessarily anticipate testosterone to correct an issue that likely began and went undiagnosed in your teens and early adulthood. And now that you're in, you know, 40s and 50s and you're addressing your hormonal issues, I wouldn't start to say, well, now this is going to fix an issue that ex existed for me 30 years ago. So they are mutually exclusive. However, some of their symptoms may overlap and cause a misconception of one kind of addressing the other. So again, you're taking an amphetamine to fix ADHD, you get this rush of dopamine, you feel great and you think, well... I'm not down. I'm not, you know, lacking energy because this is also a CNS stimulant. Therefore, I'm not low T. That's incorrect. Or I've addressed my T and now I have better motivation and outlook. Therefore, my ADHD is gone. That's incorrect. So I advise guys to kind of look at them as two completely exclusive, um, you know, manifestations that they should be diagnosed. But someone who is diagnosed and is using these amphetamines they can still be low T, so they can still just use TRT. Absolutely. Uh, totally unrelated whatsoever. Uh, while TRT may have some uh, neurological benefits, uh, it, is not, it is not going to come close to replace what a proper diagnosis of ADHD and treatment to correct that will do for that individual. TRT is not going to fix that issue. It'll fix a slew of other issues, but again, they're mutually exclusive uh, problems, if you will, that should be addressed by two separate types of professionals. Okay, I learned something new. Thank you, Gil. My pleasure. Thank you.